So this is the setup. So I'm going to do the test today for GH5 and GH6. See which one is really fastest at focusing. That's all I'm going to be focusing on today, focusing, uh, is the focus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of tests. First one is something that you might do when you're getting your camera to be able to focus on a product or something of that nature. And that's using a slider. So I've got my slider set up and I've got a white background so I can maximize the contrast because the Panasonic's GH5 and GH6 use the contrast based focus. And so what I'm gonna try and do is use the slider, test out which one stays in focus the most for a product slider shot. The next test will be the speed at which the cameras can actually get the focus. That will be over a measured distance. Move into shot, move out of shot, see how quickly it can actually get the focus. Now that's going to be a bit of a varied background. I'm probably going to use the hedge or just the vegetation background so it's got something to differentiate between. Contrast based focus might struggle a bit unless there is a great variation. Today is a bit mixed outside, sometimes sun, sometimes not, so I'm going to try and get the same conditions for each of the tests. And then lastly, I've got my third camera, a new camera, and we'll compare between the three. So it'll be GH5, GH6, new camera, and then you can see in which one you think is the best. The first up is the GH5, white background, just focusing on the GoPro, and then use the slider to move in and out. This is going to be a zoom out from a 17 millimeter lens, which is the best that I've got for this camera. There we go then. And this is with the product straight in the middle all the time. We're going to see if we get some focused breathing going on whilst it's doing this zooming. So that's out. Let's move back in again. All right, it's camera one, done. Now let's switch over and we'll put the next one on, the GH6 next. So both cameras are gonna be set up in exactly the same way. Continuous auto focus mode one. Focus limiter is off, auto focus video is on. Auto focus detection settings is on. Area one auto focus moving speed is on fast and that is pretty much good to go. Let's see if it will. It's not even focusing. Let's try. There we go, using the half press to get it in focus. Stick it in video mode. And then let's give it a go to move him back. Lost focus already. This is not good. GH6, your focus breathing is rubbish. Gone again. Let's make sure we're on auto everything. We'll try that this time. Okay, that's way more successful. I want to shoot in log. So I'm going to stop that and try it again. Okay, so it's now picked up the camera. Start the recording. Let's go zoom in. It's losing the focus. Is it going to get it back? Is it going to get it back? Come on, you can do it. not going to do it. There we go, it's got it back. <laughs> poor, very poor. <sighs> wow. Okay, next one is the new camera. Right then, so here we go on the new camera. Looks like we need to go actually set the framing a bit better. We'll try that again. Try to zoom in, see what happens now. Wow, looks pretty good to me, pretty good. Wow man, cool, happy with that. Right 
that's number one. So this is 11 and a half feet away. And I see I've got my shot set up a bit incorrectly. So I'm gonna higher that a bit. So I've not done any focus point on this at all. It's just me standing 11 and a half feet away. Next camera. So this is the GH5 with a 17mm lens on it. Should be about equivalent to the previous set. Anyway, here we go. This is me, hopefully in focus. And lastly, the GH6, hopefully, this is now in focus. Oh, by the way, since doing the slider moves, what I have done is upgraded the GH6 to the latest firmware. So this is version 2.2 now. So if there was any issues with the lens before, hopefully now it's gonna be all right. There we go then. That's the test of the three cameras. So that's the Panasonic GH5, Panasonic GH6, and the new camera. And the new camera is a Sony ZV-E1 or ZV-E1. Now, the new camera has a whole bunch of computerized, intelligent focus modes on it. Those focus modes allow it to get bang on accuracy time after time. So when you're using the slider, I don't even have to think about focus, it just does it. Now, getting into the Sony camera meant to buying into the whole ecosystem of Sony, so it's not just the camera, it's the lens, there's a microphone, there's new cards. There's more videos coming about that moving into the Sony ecosystem, but for now, this was about the Panasonics. Out of the two, I find maybe I've got the settings incorrect, and I might try doing a complete reset, but um, I find that the GH5 seems to, for some reason, just get focused more frequently and more accurately than the GH6. Um, maybe just something that I've set, it could well be. So there we go. Hopefully, hopefully that's been of use to you. If you're thinking about buying another camera, uh, you, you, the colors, the colors that the Panasonic are able to capture, the stability that it's got, it's fantastic. And if you're not putting yourself in front of the camera and relying on autofocus, then the Panasonics are a great range of cameras. Those GH5, GH6, spot on. So that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Rich and this is It's Adventure.